up here we see a warrior born being created to serve in this new Mistlands universe. Now, let's watch us follow as Triforce begins his journey to get to Valhalla in Valheim. So it begins. Welcome in to Valheim. Playing this with the new Miss Lands update came out a little while ago. Game recently just came out on console, so we're diving right into it now. Let's get right into it, guys. Long ago, the All Father Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the Tenth World, then split the bows that held their prison to the world tree and left it to drift unanchored a place of exile for centuries this world slumbered uneasy easily but it did not die as glacial ages passed kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods when odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength he looked to midgard to send his valkyries to scour the battlefields for the greatest of their warriors dead to the world they would be born again in valheim Here we are, big giant bird bringing us in. Well, Valkyrie actually. But check out our character here. You guys are new to Valheim. We will uh, help you get right into it. There's a lot of new things here that I don't know about so much in this game now. Um, so we're gonna kind of go through it. We do intend to uh, get through the what they have for uh, content here, so all six bosses I think it is now. And here we are at the starting area. Let's talk to the bird, Hugin. Welcome to the tenth world, warrior. I am Hugin, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Fahal. Alright, what do we got? So we see here, we got that one, that, this, that, that, and then this. The stone is a veg's beer. I probably said that wrong. Magical stones were scattered throughout the land by Odin as signposts pointing toward the ritual surrounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will be the summoning place of Ekthir, your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. And as you can see here, he's right over here. So we're in the meadows. We'll probably go build right out here. This looks like a good spot. Um, that is just where the Valkyrie flew in. So, there we are. I'm sure most of you by now have played Valheim. If you haven't, this is a open world survival crafting game. Kind of what I like to play a lot of. Uh, but it is a Viking uh, Norse mythology based. Ooh, there's some raspberries here. That's nice. Let's go talk to Hugin again. You have found a snack. Consume to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you will grow hungry again. So try to always have at least have a couple different meals ready. So yeah, that's just food. Some more there. Ooh. Oh, and we already got a friend. So let's craft. I need some more wood. All right, fine. We'll we'll fight him like this. Look at that knockback we got. One more punch, that takes care of him. Alright, now let's do this. We'll eat both of those, that'll give us a little health, a little stamina. As you can see, this game's a little different when it comes to its health and stamina. Compared to uh, other games, instead of level-based, it is food-based. So different foods do different things when it comes to health and stamina. Let's knock down some trees here quick. Take down a few more trees. We're going to make an axe here real quick. 
got that axe. And then we're gonna craft a torch. What do I need for a club? Just six wood, so let's chop down another some more of these smaller trees. Alright, let's also craft this. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, I'm on it. Well, I'm done. Craft a club. I'm gonna craft a hammer. Hammer will let us build. I'm gonna switch those around. Oh, I didn't realize that I already had a torch. There. So, we're just gonna take a little bit of time. We're gonna gather some wood. And we're gonna go find a spot to build at. Is there bees in here? Nope. Ooh, I can take this hammer though and take down this building. I believe that is something I can do. Oh, so I have to build a workbench first, which I need the more wood. We have seven wood. Alright, let's get some more wood. Is that ooh? What do you want, Hugin? Take stock of your inventory. Most items must be crafted, however, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you have to record the true shapes of objects. Just pick things up and it will come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother, Munin, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. Yep, I already did that. Two more. I need like one more piece of wood. And then we can craft a bench, which we'll do real quick just to take down this wood. We can get all of our this wood back. Tool raise mighty halls. Let's talk about the hammer. Craft towering fortification. Start by building a workbench. This will even construct other things. Yes, it will. Alright, so. We put this down. Right there. I can take all this out. And get all these materials. Gotta make sure we have stamina. Should I get rid of that a long time ago? Alright. And there we go. Now we got almost a full stack of wood. We didn't really have to do much for it. We're gonna chop up this log because we're here. But in a moment we are gonna we're gonna start running towards the water. And we're gonna get ready to start building. So we gotta find a spot to build up a house for us first. Oh, hit him once, get back here. Shoot. If I can get him to turn back around and come back at us. Alright, one more time. Come back here. There we go. That's a good start. That is a good start. Not what I wanted. Oh, we got a buddy here. Take him out. Oh, and he's got a buddy. There we go. Take him out. Also have another, looks like another building of some sort. Ooh, we got some mushrooms. Alright, give me all these. Could maybe mark this area as a mushroom spot. Ooh. Ooh, there's a beehive in there. Alright, we're gonna do this. Keep the bees away. There we go. I don't know if I have the carrying capacity for all this. Alright. Workbench, those complex items, and building pieces with the hammer, of course. A couple raspberries there. Take that back down. We're almost max on weight. Oh yeah, we're right by the right getting close to the, Oh here we go. We are gonna throw a mark down here, I think. 
for raspberries. So to do that, you just bring up your map, which is M. And then you can right, right click. There we go. So those are raspberries. Because these will respawn raspberries. Took me much longer than I should have. Here we are out on a little bit of a valley. Ooh, I see a building up there. Let's go check that out, I think. Ooh, and we got a boar, boar station right here. I don't see any tier one boars. Oh. Okay. What is this? Some skeletal remains? Okay, that's interesting. Well, let's build our workbench. And now let's start building our base. First off, we get our beehive which we'll put out um what's the floor no not the stairs floor Come on. Not the way I want you to. Okay, well, that's being annoying. Can that really not be open? That's annoying. I know that's covered. Okay. So now I can use this and let me craft a hoe here quick. Because that's what I need to level the ground. This is now we are to the part, one of my favorite parts of this game, and that is the building. Okay, so we got that. Make a door here. We'll make the floor come out a little bit more. This is going to be just our crafting building for now. Not going to be anything too crazy. It's going to be this wide. Flatten all this out just for a moment here. Alright, and now, a couple half walls, I don't need that hole to go all the way. We're going to keep this at the 45 degree, or the 26 degree, I mean. Uh, there is the 45 degree roofs, which I do like to use, but we're not going to use them for this build. Alright, we're going to do that. I'm going to frame in this little window here, and let's finish this roof off. Oh, I see what I did there. Um, I also didn't put these beams in across there. So that, that's got to go there. That goes there. Build this up quick. Oh, I need more wood. All right, first let's go back over here. We're gonna pick up the uh, the boar meat. Oh, 
Got some more. We do have a bit of a ways to go to get our materials. That's all right. All right that was super lucky. That deer was just an idiot. All right, need to get enough wood to finish off our build. But let's look at this. That is hard and will and wild, but we who brought are brought here are it's harder still. <laughs> Take comfort, traveler, in the gifts before you. The good wood and stone, the fruits and the flowers of the forest. Look also to the wild boar who roam these lands. They fear fire and the hand of man, but they can be taught to obey it. Go quietly to them and let them eat of your stock. Roots of the ground are their pleasure. It's basically telling you that you can uh, tame boars. And they want, I believe it is mushrooms. We got this tree here. We'll take it up to 11. We'll take on this. Should go look for some flint as well. We're going to go do that right down here by the water. Oh, let's talk to you. Be wary of the weather. When the temperature drops at night, you are wet. You will suffer from being cold. It's just reduces stamina regen. Digging shelter by an open flame is the best option. Got it. Where's the flint? There's some flint. There's some flint. Back here. There we go. Alright. Give me more flint. There's a number of items we can make with flint. We're gonna eat that. Alright, give me the torch back. Let's go finish this build. And this looks like a good spot. This looks like it'll be a good spot to set up a uh, sailing post at, so this will be perfect. But when we need to venture, we won't really need to add anything else. Oh, I did the wrong peak, didn't I? Yep, I'm doing the 45. Give me the 26. Okay, we put the cross in. This is that, this. And this is our little workstation. What if we take this out, though? Take that out. Let's put a floor in. Yeah, just flatten this out a little bit around us. What if I make this the bedroom? I have to redo the whole bit. That's all right. Put a little campfire here. Right, I need more wood. Let's repair everything quick. Repairing doesn't cost anything, so that's nice. Oh, 
I'm gonna go three something. Day two. And there's a knack right there that we can fight in just a moment. that stuff alright we'll let those sit for now we'll come back to those now let's go back we're gonna finish our little shed and house or not shed but our uh, workbench and house and then maybe we'll just have to build some walls too So I just for equipment. Really? Alright, so there's that. It's getting foggy. Let's do our builds here. Now. Must be some sort of rip over this. I actually kind of like that. It's not anything too fancy looking, but it's a nice little build. Let's take out the the big axe. Put that in. All right, so there's our little house. Oh, we need to put some stairs. So it's easy to get up. Not a big deal. Alright, so there's that. I put one chest out here. One chest right there. Alright, so we need the flint. Okay, so my fire's not lit. I need to close out. Oops, not that one. This one. Oh, no, it's lit. That was weird. Does that need to happen? Wait, what if I put the X in? I don't think that's gonna let out much smoke either, but let's go cook our meat. Nope, that didn't do it either. Okay, so that back one is not going to get used. And then let's put the chest right here. They actually put two of them right here. Alright, got some more things to cook here quick. Alright, that's it for cookables. Let's eat that, and that, and that. Let the rest of this cook up here quick. Alright, there we go.
we go we got that there we'll put the chopping block here which we need to get some flint for all right and i think this is a good a good little start for us here we got our little base built here our little starter nothing fancy uh we'll get fancy we'll get some we'll get some walls built around it here in the future we already do have a beehive that's nice bees are happy gotta love that and uh yeah all right well i think this is gonna be the end of part one of valheim for us guys Stay tuned for more. We're definitely gonna be playing this a lot, and we're gonna we'll probably be getting through a lot more uh, item or like parts as we uh, as we do more videos. This was just kind of the intro. Just wanted to get our feet wet, kind of show the basics, get an idea of where we're at here. We almost have enough flint for our chopping block, so we'll get that here. I might do a little bit of work, get a few things done for us in between parts as well, just so it's not as long and drawn out. Um, but we will save most of most of the gameplay for with you guys, so that you can see what it's all about, in case you're new to the, the series or to the game. Anyways guys, uh, thank you all for coming and checking out the video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Talk to you later. Peace out.